But the Day Back Around rehab has been running since the beginning of January. So we're now several months into controversies around what is uh, one of the really large players in the Irish charity sector and also a large producer of provider of services uh, for people with uh, disabilities. So rehab has a track record of telling uh, the Irish general public, not just politicians, but also donors to rehab, volunteers that uh, work on behalf of rehab, the staff of rehab, the service users, to mind their own business essentially when it comes to issues around uh, top executives' pay. Of course, that position is ridiculous and nonsensical. It doesn't add up when you consider that rehab last year got in excess of 83 million euro uh, of public monies into its coffers. So Mr Flannery is simply continuing with the trend that has been established of rehab saying, mind your own business, there's nothing to see here. Unfortunately for Mr Flannery, uh, the reality is that it is in the public interest, it is the public's business to know what the top executives are earning. It's certainly in the public interest to know what the governance arrangements are within rehab. I think people want to know how it is that Mr Flannery, a former CEO and a serving board member, for instance, uh, was earning fees for doing consultancy and lobbying work on behalf of rehab. These are serious issues. And Mr Flannery, rather than arguing and dancing on the head of a pin, would be better served to come voluntarily before the Public Accounts Committee if he cares about rehab if he cares about rebuilding confidence in the charitable sector, if he cares about the people who rely on the services of rehab, then that is what he will do. Of course, if he doesn't come voluntarily, it is always uh, an option for the committee to go into compelability mode and to compel Mr Flannery to come before us. I hope that won't happen. Um, both Enda Kenny, the Taoiseach, and a close uh, uh, political colleague of Mr Flannery and the Thánish Damon Gilmore have said that they believe he should come before the committee. So it's now not just a call from Sinn Féin or from the Public Accounts Committee, it is now the government position that Mr Flannery needs to make himself available uh, to clarify matters and to answer questions. So I hope he's not going to uh, disregard the view of government uh, or his colleagues in Fine Gael. He needs to come before us and we need to get to the bottom of these matters and where there's malpractice or where there's inappropriately high payments, those issues need to be addressed because at the very end of the day, those who rely on services from the likes of rehab or the Central Remedial Clinic or any of the other charitable uh, organisations that we have examined have to have their confidence rebuilt in those organisations. That's what the, what's in the best interests of the service users and indeed of the management and staff of those organisations. Do you think is there another issue around the whole way that lobbying and lobbyists work around Ensler House that so many of them seem to come from political parties, come from the political system and step outside slightly only to come back in again? Is there, is there something there that needs to be addressed? Oh no, absolutely. And there is legislation promised to regulate uh, lobbying and lobbyists and it's long, long overdue. And I think we have had a political culture in this state where boards of various organisations, state boards, or even uh, in, in many instances in the charitable sector, are populated by people who have been movers or shaker and shakers in the political system and in particular political parties. And it's been a very closed and unhealthy situation. So a couple of things need to happen. We need to have absolute transparency and openness and diversity in terms of people who are on boards of important organisations uh, and the government have a role in making that happen. Uh, but we also have to have regulation in respect of lobbying. Lobbying is a reality of modern political work. It's probably been there for as long as time, is time began, but in a formal sense it's part and parcel of how politics works and that's fine. Uh, but it can only uh, really be acceptable when it's done in a transparent way. And it shouldn't be a case of insiders lobbying each other on each other's behalf. I mean, that, that's, that's not a, a healthy situation at all. So that legislation is promised 
by Minister Howe, and he still hasn't come forward with it. But certainly, we in Sinn Féin will be pressing for the very speedy passage of that legislation in the same way that we argued very strongly for proper regulation and legislation uh, around the charitable sector.